Hey guys, it's Eric from Pin Pioneer, and just yesterday we released a really big update to the program. So in this video I'm going to show you some of the new cool stuff that we've got added, including auto-following, unfollowing, account rotation, and so forth. Now to begin, let's talk about following. We have a new search feature here um, under YouTube and Pins. We have People, and this allows you to scrape back hundreds of different users and then following them, follow them automatically. So in this case, let's type in a keyword. Let's say our keyword is uh, scarf. Well, let's say weddings, just because it's a traditional Pinterest niche. So we hit scrape, select our pages. It's only for one so far. And really quickly, as you can see, it's going to bring back a list of users. Okay. If we want more, we just increase the page number. So it's brought back a list of users. Now all we have to do to start following them is to go ahead and select a couple of boxes. We can either select all, you can shift select, control select, whatever you want. I'm just going to hit 5 for the sake of things. And then, since I'm only following 5, let's reduce the time delay to 0, just so it will be quick, or quicker than usual. And then let's hit right click here, go down to people, as you can see, and hit follow. So that get, it's going to go ahead and log into my account, and let me show how quickly it follows all these people. Bang. So, what, less than 3 seconds? It's followed 5 new people. If we go back to our account, um, here it says 215 earlier. If we refresh, you'll see it's say 220 by the looks of things. And just as I said, there's 220 followers there, which is really cool, right? Very quick, very uh, effective for generating a greater reach on Pinterest. So that's the first thing. Now, likewise, you can do the exact same thing. People unfollow if you don't want to follow these people anymore. Unfollow, it's going to go ahead and unfollow all these users. Maybe they pissed you off, maybe they didn't reply to your message, I don't know. In any case, so it's unfollowed all five users again. Again, go back, refresh, you'll see it back to 215. Pretty cool, right? How we can play with these kind of things. So now the next thing, we talked about variables um, in a couple of videos earlier. We have the URL variable, we have the comment variable, and we have the popular variable for pins. So if you don't remember, popular, like so, for pins, will retrieve the most popular pins, which you can then repin and whatnot. Okay, so that's cool. But what we can also do now with people is scrape back our followers and people who are following who we are following. So in this case, let's say our followers, like so, hit scrape, and this will scrape back all our followers. And then we can extend this and scrape back their stuff and their images and whatnot. Um, but it's really cool. And then after it's scraped back, all the followers will tell you if they're still following you. In this case, all my followers, 28, are still following me. Okay. Where it really gets cool is when you type in following, like so. Just as a side, make sure it is in capital, it capitalized, because these are case sensitive. If it isn't capitalized, it will not work. So if you type in following, this is going to go ahead and bring back all the people we are following, so 250 in this case, and then tell us who's following us out of those 215. Okay, so this takes a second or two longer just because there's obviously more. But just as we thought, here it is. So this is scraping back our followers now. Sorry, the people we are following. And it will say if any of these are following us. In this case, the blue tags, the blue rows are the ones that are following us as well. Now, if I wanted to, I could just mass select whoever isn't following us, for instance, then hit people and unfollow the ones that are not following us. It gets a bit confusing after a while, a lot of wordplay, but let's move on. So that's one of the first big features that we've included. The next one, um, it's pretty simple, but quite effective if you're mass pinning thousands and thousands of pins from thousands of different accounts. And that's the rotate accounts feature. In this case, the way this works, just select the rotate accounts, enter a new board name. So it might be, I don't know, car racing, for instance, whatever. Um, select your pins again, put in everything like you put in before. So picture descriptions, source URLs, etc. And this will go ahead and create a new board per account you have selected. It will then create that board, it will upload the, the pins into that board. It will rotate, upload the pins into that board, create the board, and so forth. As per how many pins you have selected, as per how many accounts you have selected. So that's pretty cool. I'm not going to demonstrate the full use of that right now because I'm going to move on to something even cooler, and that's the comment feature. Now, 
let's go back to pins and let's type in popular. Okay, so this is gonna scrape back all our popular pins. Now, what you can do, you can also comment on these pins now, which is really cool. So all you have to do again, one, two, three, four, five, select. Before you do this, type in your comment text. In this case, spin text applies as well. So you can say, hey, this is awesome, great, fantastic. Woohoo! Or better yet, woo and poo. You know. So we got the page description, all that kind of stuff. Select your account, right click, and comment. Now this is going to go ahead and comment on all these five pins. Likewise, it's very, very quick. This is the fastest Pinterest application in the world. And done. Excellent, right? So that's the comment feature. Now we can move on to something a little bit more advanced. And this is for, I guess, the advanced user. Now, all of this, all, everything I'm talking about right now is listed in the latest description. So in the news update window that pops up when you first open the program, all of the latest updates are li listed here. As you can see, we update quite regularly. Okay, but the next thing I want to talk to you about is the export feature. Now, the exports, we could export you know stuff before, but now it's been extended a little bit further. In this case, if you go to export, you can export the URLs along with the titles, just the titles or the URLs and the titles or just the URLs. So quite cool. Uh, in this case, right click, export, um, popular, let's say, commented popular pins, for instance, okay? Awesome, so we've done that. If we go back to here, this will list all of the current pins along with our titles, okay? Um, I think right now this exported all 50. Um, I think we may need to export just the five, but that's not a problem. If you want to export just the five, you have to go to export pin URLs, um, and then we'll export just the five. So that's that. Um, apart from that, we had some minor tweaks in this version as well. So you can also um, it will reload previous versions of the application. Um, it will auto load from the previous version, so you won't lose any accounts. Um, and yeah, so that's really about it. This is version 1.0.1.0. Very cool, we have lots more to come. Get it today before the price goes up and join our affiliate program too. Thanks.